Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the 720 or 720 Pro pocket hole jig system from Craig. Okay, so this is now their biggest, baddest, you know, pocket hole jig, and it's big. I mean, this thing is massive. Now I went ahead and got the Pro model so I could see what is, you know, what it's all about. So it's basically the 720, which is this thing here, minus these wings, and uh, minus this this clamp here. So you just take the clamp like this, slide it in, put it, you know, and then lock it into your work area. And as you can see, this isn't a fancy work area. I'm on a painter's bench with a piece of plywood slapped on top of it, okay? But it works. It's whatever you got, right? So obviously that is the first part of using a jig, is mounting it down so it's going to stay steady. All right, now you're like, well, what, what if I got the regular 720 and not the Pro and I don't have this clamp, nor do I have the wings, okay? so. Or maybe you just want to mount the 720 Pro differently. So let's take the clamp off, set it to the side. So we're going to take the wings off, okay? Now, if you want to know how to assemble this thing, how to set it up, I do have a video of unboxing and setting it up in the first place. Top right of the screen, you'll see that. Okay? Now, this part here, you got to be careful because it's these wings are actually really flimsy, if you're curious. Um, and whenever I work with them, I feel like I'm going to snap and break them in half. And the little locking tab right here has has popped off more than once, okay? I mean, actually, like, come all the way off, not just unlocked itself. Okay, but anyway, so it's got this whole arm right here, and we're just going to push it forward. Okay, getting it on the first time was insanely hard, but once it's snapped in um, and been in more than once, it's not too bad. So you see these, these two little knobs right there. They lock in underneath. So let's go ahead and take our other wing off. And I tell you what, if you ever let someone borrow this thing, I would take these off and put them away because I'm sure they're going to come back broken. These hinges, I, I really question. And just, uh, yeah, just, just take them off if you let someone borrow this. Okay, now that the wings are off, there's kind of a folding wing that comes out and then you can see all right those two holes there you see there that's actually where the um, bracket goes for the wing and then there's a hole just up you know just to the side of it for a screw so I'm just gonna take a number eight by inch and a quarter wood screw and screw it down Okay, everything seems to be in the way. Also, while I'm doing this here, I might mention another pocket hole jig system from Masco, the M2, which I will have a straight up comparison directly after this video, which you'll see the link to that in the top part of your screen right now. Okay, looks like I need a long six inch bit just to make this work. Okay, that's pretty steady, and that's actually more steady than using the clamp, but the clamp is obviously really easy to take on and off. All right, now one of the things that makes this system kind of nice is you can see there's tons of storage. The wings, you know, open up and there's storage in them, um, and then also all this right here, okay? So our drill bit right here just snaps right in and we're ready to go. I don't know how well you can see this, but on the other drill bit itself, it shows half inch, three quarters, inch and a half, and you can see the hole right here, and I just have it lined up over, over the marking there, okay? And if you do need to change it, here's a little Allen wrench tool right here, which also has little markings. So if you're like, well, how thick is my stock? You can actually take this and put it over like that, and you can see see the thickness okay now some of you might be like wait a second but I'm not using a, a wood stock that's not those three measurements well you got the measurements right here inside the holder we put this back and then we can slide it you can see one and three eighths one and one eighth one inch five eighths so there's additional markings right here for you to help set the collar depth that's kind of built into the back now some of you might be saying what about dust collection that should be important um, it is important because I work in my garage 
I think most of us are also. I think any woodworking tool should have good dust collection. So this is a toolless reversible system here, which you can just snap in right here on the side. You want to obviously make sure that the open end is facing the uh, where the drills go. Okay, so you just snap it in from here, or if you want it on this side, just flip it over and snap it in there. That part of the dust collection is nice. And then this is supposed to be designed for the smaller inch and quarter, shot vac type hoses, and then we do have an adapter that comes with it, which will actually just kind of snap over it for the larger two and a half, okay? So the adapter is included if you only have the larger hose. Okay, now I have, well here's one problem with this uh, dust collection system. Um, and there's actually a second problem, but I'll show you that later. Number one is, is this, this little boot works just fine on my two and a half inch shop vac brand shop hose, okay? But, I'll just take that off so you guys can see better. This is the one and a quarter inch shop vac brand hose, and it actually does slide over. Not a problem. But, here's the hose of the vac we're using today, which is also an inch and a half hose but it's from HyperTuff. Okay, yes, that is the Walmart brand. So my big shop vac is in the bathroom remodeling, and I'm using this little mini shop vac that my daughter uses for her scroll saw, but it's actually a great little vac. Um, don't knock it for the size, it's amazing. But it won't, it won't lock on. And the one for the, uh, the Masca M2 um, locks onto this just fine. Um, locks onto this and the shop vac one. Um, it just, it just won't go on and I've tried I've tried forcing it um, so anyways that's that's number number one problem number two problem because I'm sure you're like wait what's the second one is that it actually doesn't um, collect all the dust you'll see here in a minute it may not be a big thing to me all but um, I'm just pointing out as we, as we go on here on how to use this I'm also kind of reviewing it a little bit okay but my shop vac is on the other side and I'll just hold the hose up against it so locking it on over here, put our stock in place. So you'd be like, well, how do you how do you lock this in place? Well, you really just oops, you just do that. It's that simple. They're like, what about tension stuff? Okay, here's a little tension knob right here. So lift it up, and to adjust it, you're just gonna spin the knob when it's open. All right, but the interesting thing is, is here's a minus, here's a plus. So you would think that you turn it that way to to loosen it up, but that's actually the tightest. And then you go this way here actually the loosest. So I guess what you're doing is, is you're just pointing um, the, the minus arrow I guess, towards the jig itself and now that the plus is towards the jig then that's now the tightest spot okay. Um, I kind of wanted to do it backwards but I find that most of the time right there in the middle holds things really darn good unless you're working with something crazy crazy big or something that's wanting to move. And then we're just lock it down and we're gonna use it. Now that we locked it down the Craig here, the 720 does give us a couple different drilling options, which is nice. So we've got two that are side by side real close to each other, and then two that are further apart. Alright, so get your drill bit loaded in your drill, speed it up a little bit. Now when I do this, I don't want to just start drilling as I go down, okay? I want to go down, go against the wood, and I'm going to pull back up just a hair, and then start drilling and go into the wood. And I'm actually going to try to do the dust extraction at the same time. Now that was normal speed. I didn't speed that up or slow it down. And you can see uh, the wood come out of the hole when I brought the, the bit back out. Now, yes, it does catch most of the dust. Um, so you might think I'm nitpicking, and maybe I'm just a little bit. But you can see it did definitely come out every time I pulled out. Okay. And here we go. Some clean pocket holes. Okay, so it's time to wrap this up. I really think that showed you guys just about everything you need to know on how to use the 720, 720 Pro to get started on your next project. Please take a moment, subscribe to our channel, check out our website for so many more videos organized really, really well. And there is another video for you guys to enjoy as well. You guys have a great one.